So even after doing the battery disconnection, the tool is still not able to read the ECU. I have no idea what's going to happen. is a very important day so today we're actually going to be uh, remapping the car the car currently has a KNN and uh, air filter and we've uh, installed the stainless steel downpipe from IES performance now it's time to install the e-tuners stage 2 remap so we're currently on our way to the mechanics automotive which is the garage that we're working with for this series they're masters of vac cars uh, Fiat, Chrysler cars, anything that you want basically. They're really really good at working on cars in general. They have opened a massive new facility uh, near Pashan Sus area in Pune and their facility is absolutely amazing. I'm pretty sure you've seen the meetups and everything that we've done over there. So I'm going to be taking uh, Project Laura uh, over there, not for any particular reason, just because I wanted to drive it today. And it's incredibly hot outside, so we need the AC or else we'll bloody die on the road. So it's extremely hot today, so that's why we're out with Project Laura and let's do one pull. Yep, she's as good as ever. I know I have a few check lights on the dashboard, it's a Christmas tree. Uh, traction control and ABS is not working currently because my wheel speed sensor is not working. Uh, check engine light, I have told many of you guys on my personal chat, uh, it's because of a, a O2 sensor that's not working near the downpipe, I still haven't figured out that problem. I don't want to spend 13,000 rupees on a new uh, O2 sensor and this light is for my parking lights apparently which I don't know because they're working. Uh, so yeah, fuel, always a problem, gas has become incredibly expensive, so yeah, let's head down to mechanics now. So we've reached mechanics and the Abarth is here. Now we're going to start tuning it, but before we start tuning, I just want to show you uh, around mechanics and all of the cool cars that they have. So let's go for a quick spin. This is a Porsche Panamera 4.8 V8, sounds amazing. This is a Skoda Octavia 1.8 automatic. Uh, I think it was a stage 2 or a stage 3, not really sure. But this is something that I would like to upgrade to if I'm selling my Laura. This is a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Uh, it gets a 2-litre inline 4 turbocharged engine. Uh, it came over here because the owner has fitted a lift kit which has Fox suspension. This is India's first all-wheel drive VRS 245. And when I mean India's first, I think so. This is the world's only all-wheel drive VRS 245. If I'm wrong, you can uh, comment down below. But yeah, video on this thing coming very soon. Or I think it must have come already. I'm not sure. I don't think you'll be able to recognize what this is. But this is the 600 horsepower VRS 230 that we filmed that we filmed a few months ago, I guess. I'm not sure when is, this is coming out. But yeah, it's currently going uh, through a full reprint uh, process. Uh, I think so the color that they've chosen is like a weird gray, uh, sorry, green, not gray. So yeah, excited to see this and wait out for part two. So one of the advantages that e-tuners has currently is that they have multiple tools and the boys over here at Mechanics also and these guys will not have to remove the ECU and they have something called a CMD which will flash the tune and e-tuners India has the proper tool already ready so that we don't have to do a lot of experimentation here and there to find dead spots or anything like that. So it's directly plug and play so now we're going to do just that.
so these are the puppies over here at mechanics and we've named them so this guy is psi and all right this guy is tdi because he's black and tdi is put out black smoke jao bhai yeah So while flashing the ECU, we ran into a problem. Well, we haven't been able to flash the ECU at all because for some reason the CMD tool that we're using to flash the ECU is not able to uh, read the ECU, which is a problem. So what we're doing is uh, disconnecting the battery, let the car sit for five six minutes, uh, let it completely reset, and probably then the tool will be able to read the ECU. And this is a very common problem according to the boys over here at Mechanics because. Uh, If you've ever done an OBD scan or something like that, that might be an issue that can occur after uh, you do an OBD scan. So yeah, we've disconnected the battery. Now the car is sitting for five six minutes. It'll be completely reset then. Five minutes later. So even after doing the battery disconnection, the tool is still not able to read the ECU. I have no idea what's going to happen. This is the downside of owning a Ferrari. So after like half an hour of fiddling around with the ECU controls and the laptop and even going on bloody Google, we finally uh, solved the issue of uh, the CMD reader not reading the ECU. Now it's reading it. Now we're just waiting for the map. We'll quickly upload it, and we have a stage to come. So finally, after like. an hour or so the file is ready uh, it the file comes directly from etuner's greece so that's why it takes a little time for it to be encrypted and sent over here uh, so suchant is inside the car he's loading up the file uh, via the cmd tool and in some time this car is going to be stage 2 सो नाउ वी जस्ट गॉट इन द कार ट्यून द फाइल हैज बीन फ्लैश ऑन टू दी सी एंड from the passenger side i do feel a change like it feels a little more aggressive and um, the thing is that i haven't really been in the passenger side too much and even if i was i have not had anybody push the this thing too much so uh, the main difference i'll probably understand when i actually start driving it so i think we are doing that now ha band nahi tha abhi band Yeah, I feel that the car has become a little more aggressive now, and obviously the power gain is there definitely. <laughs> has become noticeably faster. Now the only thing left probably is to get the intercooler done, which I have already ordered. So once that is put we will we will see a noticeable different as well in the way the power is also put down
So finally this car is now stage 2 ready. Uh, as you heard from the shot before this, the pops and bangs are absolutely amazing. We are going to get an exhaust for this car. So after the exhaust is going to sound even better. Uh, currently I think so with the stage 2 uh, setup that we're running with the downpipe and the filter and the e-tuner stage 2 map. I think so the power figures are around 180 horsepower and maybe 280 newton meters of torque which is quite a lot for such a small car. This thing is a proper pocket rocket rocket now uh, i'm really excited for the exhaust and next episode is mostly going to be the intercooler episode that we've ordered from garrett so stay tuned for that and yeah subscribe to the channel let us know what you think about how this project is coming along project abarth comment down below what would you do to your abarth punto and i'll see you in the next one